so hello guys welcome to another video um so today we are not going to do small basic or neither sketch today we are going to do c plus plus so right now i am using dev c plus plus so it is a type of c plus plus okay so you can uh, use um you can download visual studio uh, also uh, but the problem is that like it is a very big file so if it will it will take uh, um, some time so if you want um, uh, 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 app that takes less storage this takes 355 around uh, 350 MB around uh, storage uh, but while downloading it takes only 48 MB so um, and if you have, um, you can use uh, Visual Studio also as it has like, if I write something over here, okay, so it will uh, show above that what, what things that I, uh, I am I writing, okay, so if I write ink, uh, ink, so it would show above what I want to write, include or something else, so you can download Visual Studio also, it has other program. Uh, it is all other um, programming uh, based uh, languages um, but you have to download the languages so I suggest you to do, use Dev C++ or you can use Visual Studio if you want some uh, guidance on what you are writing or a better UI so I am going to start with this right now um, so um, first of all C++ is a programming based language, it is a programming language and it is uh, a, a successor to C, okay, C language, there was C language also, um, so uh, first of all, the first line that we always write is include, first we write hashtag, include IOS tree, okay, so what this is, this is a library io stream is a library okay so io stream is a library right um so c plus plus has many libraries which contain different things like if we are doing text based like we want to write something or uh, we want to read something and then output the result like we did in there are certain library libraries which contain those things so IOS stream library contains the read function, uh, write function and all of that. So and you have to put before IOS stream you have to put hashtag include. Okay, first hashtag then include and in in triangular black brackets you have to put IOS stream. Then uh, going to use using name space std. Um, and one more thing I wanted to tell you that after every line that we write we have to put a semicolon okay that is very important if you don't put a semicolon it will throw a error an error so you always have to put a semicolon after every line that you write okay so now I will tell you why are we are using na using namespace std afterwards so okay so this is a int main okay so we are creating uh, um, we are creating int main okay so we will put all of our main things over here okay so int main um, so first I will tell you about the write command uh, write command yes so write command for write command we use coot okay c o u t coot and after that we put two greater two signs and then in in the um uh, in in the quotation marks we put any text we want to add for, for example hello world okay and then at the last we have to put a semicolon which I told you before that we need to put a semicolon after every 
line okay now let's run this so you can see that shortcut to run compile first you have to compile the code then we have to run it so there is the option to do both together so you can press f11 so i will just do that so it is compiling down here okay so it is loading um now it has worked okay so this it we use the write command over here quote and it wrote hello world so that is great uh, don't worry about uh, this or this uh, it is just telling how much time it took uh, to give the answer to give, to give to execute the program so don't look like after that uh, you just look at this so as you can see it has written hello world okay um, so, uh, I told you, uh, uh, I will explain why are we using, using namespace std over here. So, I will just tell you now why are we using that. Okay. Uh, so, what is uh, now, like I have removed the line of using namespace std. And if I try to um, run it now, as you can see, quote was not declared in the scope, which means that uh, like even if we use include iostream um, the right uh, the other functions uh, the write and read functions still need uh, one more thing okay so instead of uh, now we have to write over here std double colon and then code so it is the same if we write using namespace std over here um, so namespace std okay so it is the same if the this if we remove std double colon okay uh, and write this line then we can just write quote but if we don't write this line we have to write std double colon then quote uh, so we should uh, like we should use using nature's std as it would become very tedious for every line that you write you have to write std double colon quote uh, std double colon for every line uh, that you write or even read okay um, so now I will tell you about the sin uh, about how to read okay so as you know uh, in small basic uh, we read uh, we read the um, text on the text window um, by uh, declaring a variable and then um, declaring a variable and then uh, storing the text uh, written in that variable. So over here, what we do is that I will just do this. Okay, send. Okay, so this is a read a uh, command for you. Um, so before the send, I will tell you about variables in, uh, in C plus uh, plus. So variables here can have. Like in small basic, you just wrote A or B and then equal to sign and then whatever uh, you want to give the value. But in small basic, before the variable, you have to put certain things like int A or double A. So I'll explain what of the all of these are. So int A means that A is an integer. Okay, so it can be negative or positive. But it it isn't decimal or fractional, okay. So int a means uh, integer value. Double a means that uh, means a um, a decimal value, okay. In double a we can use integers also, um, but int a is more preferred for integers. In double a um, we can write in uh, decimal uh, sorry. Um, decimal values or fraction values like 23.4 or like that nice yes. then in char a char means that we put any character okay h um h or b or h or s or the, any character okay character only then in string Okay, string A means 
um, uh, a string means uh, any text okay so text is like hello world and anything like that so numbers can also be in, put in strings but just by putting quotation marks so string a and char a and double int a and I guess I am done with every int char double and string so yes so int I will just take int as an integer and write not as an integer I will take it as an string okay string a is equal to hello world so what I am doing over here is that I am making a uh, variable a which is is a string which means that it contains text or numbers in quotation marks so like we want to display the um, text um, so um, okay so this is a string and then in code we can instead of writing hello world like this we can just write a and let's run this oh yes I uh, one thing I forgot is that we have to put a colon okay so don't ever forget to put a colon so now it should work okay compile now it is running so it takes a long time to show the result uh, so it is fine mm. as you can see it has written hello world uh, in, uh, hello world and instead of writing the hello world uh, like whole hello world I just made the variable a and stored hello world in it so this can be very useful in programs where you have to write a certain uh, text certain text over and over again so instead of writing the text over and over again you can just store the text in a variable and then just write the variable again and again which is much more easier um, so yeah, so now as I have taught you about variables now I will tell you about um, um, so Read function, okay, so quote um, Please enter any number so I am asking the user to enter any number So just like in small basic We ask the user to enter any number then we read the uh, read number by storing the number in a variable and then writing text window dot read number right so in um, in C++ what you do is that you do sin okay sin is the read um, function in uh, command in C++ so it is sin C I N then instead of putting greater to sign uh, sorry lesser than sign or like very lesser this is, these are lesser than signs instead of putting lesser than sign you put greater than signs so uh, if you don't want to get confused in this just uh, in code we are wanting the uh, um the um the the text window to write this code to write this line so it these these two signs uh, point like the big the bigger space of these two uh, signs point towards the text so that means that uh, we want to write the text onto the text window and then in sin we are reading the text so the greater to sign uh, the signs are point uh, the bigger space of the signs are pointing towards the sin so to not to get confused so I'm telling you a shortcut okay so in sin then we can write any variable uh, read this in the variable num okay so I have to put int num over here because we don't need to tell uh, so this is a variable okay so we need to tell the uh, C++ pro, uh, C++ that uh, whether the number is integer or decimal or character or string any okay so then I do f function okay sorry let me run it now 
okay uh, so what is happening over here is that we need to declare declare means like we are need to declare a variable before uh, reading it so I will just declare a uh, num before okay so I have just declared a variable and if you want to give it a value we can just do int number then we can just put any number and that then we have given a value to the uh, variable also but right now I am only declaring the variable and then in sin I can just write num and now it should work um, okay it is working I guess uh, yes it is working Mm. as you can see I have um, asked the user to enter any number I have put 65 and then done okay so I will to show you that it is reading the number uh, like it is storing the number that the user wrote in the variable num I'll just again write quote then um, lesser than signs and then uh, your number is so like in um, like in small basic uh, when we wanted to add a variable at the last of any or in between uh, any text okay so what we would do is that your number is okay then we use plus sign and then we uh, wrote the variable and done right so but in c++ what you do is that your number is then space because you want uh, there uh, to be a space before the number then we again put those um, greater two signs okay so we again put those greater two signs so these are greater to signs instead of lesser to signs okay so these are greater to signs and these are the lesser to signs so again we use greater to sign and then we put the variable and of course uh, and semicolon and let's check if it is working oh sorry it is not a it should be num sorry uh, num It is working okay okay so 42 your number is 42 so right it is working that is great um so i guess uh, this is like this is the introduction to um c plus plus and in the next video or like in the next video of c plus uh, plus i will tell you uh, we will do programs um like we had done in small basic videos so like in the next video i'm going to tell you how to like make a calculator in c plus plus like we are done in small basic um so that is great and uh, in the calculator i will also explain the if statement if then else statement and if else if else if else statement okay like we are done in small basic so thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next video and also i think i'm missing one type of declaration over here in int char double string and one more i'm missing so i will tell you right now only what i'm missing so one second i'll just show you Um, I guess I am missing one variable. So no, this not this type. In the jar. Um. So char int um float okay this is c not c plus plus one second um
um, Boolean character. So don't worry about this and this. Like these are more complex. Uh, so yeah, I missed Boolean. Okay, so bool bool is like you just uh, want to tell if it is true or false. So bool num uh, bool num no, like is equal to um, true or false, right? So you need to do like like you just want to tell if it is true or false and float. Okay, so there is a float. Um, sorry. Um. Like there was a double, okay. There was a double. There is a float also. So float also stores um decimal values, um decimal and fractional values. But in that, I guess float doesn't uh, float works in C plus plus. Um, but the reason we use double then uh, float is because uh, like double can store more precise decimal values. Okay, so and float uh, then float, so that's why we use double. Uh, I guess it will show over here also. Uh, it is not free, uh, so it is fine. I um, just wanted to tell you that float uh, double stores more precise precise decimal values than float. Um, so I guess we are done. So thank you for watching my video. Please like and then subscribe. And I'll meet you in the next video. Bye.